Hey guys, it's Dynawenta here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about crates. Let's go. So the exact number of crate species is debated, with some sources saying 16, some 17, and others 18. In this video, we will cover 16 species, but there have been recent discoveries that suggest that there are more. All crates are highly venomous and found in Asia. Many like to live in tropical forest habitats. They are nocturnal. They are ophiophagous predators, meaning that they eat other snakes. Many of them have a banded appearance. This serves as an aposematic coloration to warn predators. Aposematism is when an animal has bright colors or distinct markings to warn other animals of their danger, with this often being a venom or poison. Crates are considered timid and docile. However, they are capable of delivering a highly, highly potent neurotoxic venom, that is a venom that targets the nervous system. So here are the species. First is the common crate, a native to India and the surrounding countries, it is also called the Bengal crate. The common crate is part of the big four Indian snakes, the snakes that inflict the most bites on humans in India, Bangladesh and Pakistan. It grows to an average length of around 0.9 meters, that's 2 feet and 11 inches, but can grow to 1.75 meters, that's 5 feet 9 inches at a maximum, with the males being longer. They have flat heads and this is one of the crates that is famous for the painless bite, with many saying that you can't even feel the bite, providing a false sense of security to the victim before the potent venom takes effect. Next is the South Andaman crate, and this crate is native to the Andaman Islands. This is a group of around 200 islands, found southwest from Myanmar. They are listed as near threatened on the IUCN red list, and South Andaman crates are oviparous. Next is the Northeastern Hill Crate, and these snakes are found in Myanmar, India, Nepal, Vietnam, and Tibet. They can be found at elevations of up to 2,040 meters, and the longest males get to around 140 centimeters, that's 55 inches, with a tail length of 16 centimeters, that's 6.3 inches. Northeastern hill crates are listed as least concern on the IUCN red list. Next is the Malayan crate, and also known as the blue crate, these snakes are listed as least concern on the IUCN red list. They get to around 108 centimeters in length, that's 43 inches, with 16 centimeters, that's 6.3 inches of that being tail. Malayan crates are found in Southeast Asia, in of course Malaysia, as well as other parts of Indochina, and Bali and Java in Indonesia. Next is the Ceylon crate, and also known as the Sri Lankan crate, this snake is, it has a relatively huge lung which it can inflate to warn potential predators. Hatchlings get out of the egg at around 25 centimeters, that's 9.8 inches, and the average length of an adult is around 75 centimeters, that's 29.5 inches, and the absolute maximum is 90 centimeters, that's 35.5 inches. It is endemic, Endemic means that it only lives in to Sri Lanka and is found in central hilly areas around the island. It is rarely found in lowland areas and likes to live in leaf litter, although they can be found in urban areas where humans live. Next is the banded crate, and the banded crate is native to the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia and Southern China. This is the longest crate in the world, with some growing up to 2.25 meters, that's 7 feet 5 inches long but has an average length of 1.8 meters, that's 5 feet 11 inches. They are known for their golden black pattern, and they have a highly neurotoxic venom. There is, however, a polyvalent antivenom available that has cross coverage over the snake's venom. Next is the red-headed crate, and the red-headed crate is native to Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, and Singapore. They can grow up to 2.1 meters, that's 7 feet, with an average length of around 1.2 to 1.5 meters, that's 4 to 5 feet. They get their name from their red head, with the rest of their body being a black color, and some having white stripes. They are rarely found in human areas, usually living in rainforests, mountains, and hilly areas. Next is the lesser black crate, and this snake is found in India, Bangladesh, and Nepal. Part of its Latin name means metal colored, referring to how this snake's coloration looks almost metallic. It, it can grow up to 102 centimeters, that's 40 inches, and has a white upper lip. They are listed as least concern on the IUCN red list. Next is the greater black crate, 
and this is a species found in India, Nepal, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. They can be found at elevations as high as 1,500 meters, that's 4,900 feet. The maximum length for this species is around 1.3 meters, that's 4.3 feet, with an average length of around 0.8 meters, that's 2.6 feet. This snake has neurotoxins and possibly myotoxins, which affect muscles, with many bites being recorded. Next is the Burmese crate, and the Burmese crate is also known as the Spotted crate and the Splendid crate. It is endemic to Myanmar and is listed as least concern on the IUCN red list. Its average length is 1.1 meters, that's 3 feet 7 inches, but some individuals can grow to 1.45 meters, that's 4 feet and 9 inches. 15 centimeters, that's 5.9 inches, of that is tail. They have a neurotoxic venom and there is no antivenom for a bite of the snake. However, bites are extremely rare and no fatalities have been recorded. Next is the many banded crate, and also known as the Taiwanese crate and the Chinese crate, this species is native to Taiwan, Hong Kong, Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, and possibly Thailand. This crate's venom contains neurotoxins and a unique venom called bangratoxins, with A bangratoxin only being found in this species and B bangratoxin being found in many crates. The average length is around 1 to 1.5 meters, that's 3.5 to 5 feet, and the maximum length is around 1.85 meters. That's 6.1 feet. Next is Bangaris persicus. And as you can tell by this snake not even having a widely used common name, there is definitely not as much information out there for this crate as there was for other crates. Bangaris is the genus that we are covering in this video. It contains all of the crates. This snake is found in Iran, which is why some sources call it the Iranian crate. Next is the Scient crate or the Sinder crate. This species is found in India, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. The average length is around 1 meter, that's 3 feet, with some individuals reaching lengths of 1.8 meters, that's 6 feet. They can have white, yellow, or gray bands, although babies start with small white dots that develop into the bands. It often unintentionally crosses paths with humans and other domestic animals. Next is the Red River crate. And this snake's scientific name is Bangaris Slowinski, with the second part coming from the legendary American herpetologist Joseph Slowinski, which is this guy, who unfortunately passed away after a bite from the next crate on this list, so this species was named in his honor. They are found in Vietnam, Thailand, and Laos, with its preferred habitats being forests at elevations of 400 to 700 meters, that's 1,300 to 2,300 feet. They are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list. Next is Suzanne's crate, and this species was first described in 2021, making it extremely new to science, not even being described when it bit Slowinski in 2001. They are, very, they are found in rice fields and in streams in monsoon forests located in southwestern China and northern Myanmar. It is named after Bai Suzen, a snake goddess from a Chinese tale that translates to the legend of the white snake. Next is Wall's Crate, and Wall's Crate is found in northern India, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Bhutan. They're often found in forests, agricultural areas, and many other rural and urban areas, being a common site in places where they occur. It was previously treated as a subspecies of the Cyan Crates, and not much information is available for this species too. Gul even thinks it is still the Cyan Crate. And with that, it brings us to the end of this video. So I'd like to thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you learned something, and I'll see you in the next one.